That's good stuff. I just won a locker. Yay! Now, um, this is a really special moment actually because I have not purchased a locker in over two years. Hello YouTube, this is Nick from Patina Dreams. So I'm on my way to the $510 locker that was uh, really just a wall of storage that we saw up front with some nice iron work and metal inside of it. Uh, some good artwork. I'll point those out uh, later on in the video. We are about 30 miles away from the storage facility. I've got the truck, I've got a hand truck. Unfortunately, I am solo. Uh, my daughter uh, chose to go hiking today. So I'm a big boy, I can handle it. And I've, that appliance stall is gonna really come in handy, I'm sure. I will check in with you when we get to the locker and I open the door. Good to meet you. Dalton's opening the door on the locker I bought today. Maple Valley Storage. See how far we get to go. Yep. As you can see, it's nothing's touched. All right, so quick update. I'm here, empty truck, ready to go. And you might notice I did rent a truck. Uh, it's been a couple years since I've done this, so I don't have anything to haul stuff with. Now, I had a little trouble opening the door. There's a bunch of stuff that I couldn't see, and I'm really happy with what I am seeing so far. Let's give you a, a look at this. So, did not see. We have a table here. We do have mattresses, that's unfortunate. Um, that means that uh, I've got dump fees. Looks like a, some sort of hospital bed frame, maybe. And then we have lamps. We've got a cool looking hutch up there. Or a, uh, and then tables, some antique chairs. Oh, I hope that's, no, that's not, oh, there's a TV. There is a TV, look at that. Oh, we're gonna do just fine. I was gonna try to restrain myself from actually uh, opening anything before we got home, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Look at this, it's like little coolers, some sort, there's, Definitely an intake of something. There might be something really big back here. This is only 10 by 10. So I can't see the back yet. So pretty excellent. Fishing pole, Shakespeare, nothing too terribly expensive. Yeah, yeah, we can get this loaded up and out of here. So I'm gonna get to work. Okay, so I just about to crawl in the locker and the first thing I pull out uh, gives me a real big red flag that I definitely need to be wearing gloves. Uh, and that is da, 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 the Easy Touch U100 insulin syringes. Now, hopefully, this is just diabetes, and I mean, I don't wish diabetes on anybody, but uh, you never know. There is a sharps container here. It looks like they're being responsible. Hopefully, I won't find any anywhere else in the locker, but I will definitely be careful and I will be wearing gloves through the whole sorting. All right, back to it. All right, already I am finding lots of good stuff, but for those of you that uh, didn't, we're looking at the locker uh, profiling site. I'm gonna show you something. The metal pieces that I mentioned in there that I had no idea what they were. See, there's this metal piece. I have no idea what this is. If you know, put it in the comments and uh, tell me. Well, I found out what they were. They are ground effects for a car. So we've got a carbon fiber and two plastic ones. I have no idea what these go to. One of them looks like a stock piece. And then, because I pulled them out, I noticed something very cool. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to actually switch over to the other camera to see uh, get some light on it. So way back there, um, there's a vase. There's some totes, boxes. And right down here, we have a safe. All right, well that was easy. I got the safe out and guess what? I haven't opened it yet, but I did notice it's unlocked. So, big reveal in three, two. All right, so 
right, so I'm already making money on this unit. I uh, was just sitting here loading the truck and a gentleman walked up and asked me to help me get a motorcycle off the back of this pickup. Paid me 40 bucks to do it. I'm not one to say no, but it was a really nice bike, super nice. Oh my God, he's probably spent out tens of thousands on this thing. Anyway, since I've got you up here, I'm gonna show you a couple things. Pretty exciting, let me cut over to the other camera. So, you can see that there's a super nice upholstered chair here, wood and upholstery. And uh, start pulling out things like that intake, which I pointed out, and then there's a motor. There's some coolers down here, radiators, intakes. And I'm like, ah, someone was rebuilding something, jet ski or whatever. And then, look right back here. There's a bike in this unit. Not a road bike, not a 10 speed. 12 speed or 18 speed, whatever. That's a full on flipping motorcycle back here. So can't wait to get it, see what it is. I know it's a Honda, I don't know what kind. So you remember that super cool piece of iron that was in the corner? Look at that. It's already got planters on it. It is heavy, so that is definitely a Craigslist thing. All right, so here we are again, and you, you might have seen this box in the back, and I think I told you that it will get your hopes up, because you can already see in the eye hole it's not the mower. Boy, if we had that mower, though, that'd be an easy 100 bucks or something for 199 at Lowe's right now. Corded 13 amp electric mower in an Olympia, Washington. Everyone wants electric. They want to go as green as possible. And then I start pulling stuff out, and what do you know? On top of that, look at that cart. That's another 30, 40 bucks right there. Uh, especially since we're near the marina. Uh, folks that have boats love these things. And on top of that, anyone guess what that is? Pause it now, put it in the uh, comments if you think you know. It is a toolbox next to some tools, which makes me think that's full. Unless they were smart and pulled out all the tools, which I'm hoping they did, because those get really heavy when they're loaded up. Yeah, my hair, yeah, my hair's a mess, so what? So, I was hoping for a win on this unit. Um, 10 by 10, you saw in the auction, it was 10 by 10. I'm going to show you kind of something I found out I'm a little dismayed by. Uh, I got a truck big enough to haul a 10 by 10. But, as it turns out, this unit is bigger than a 10 by 10. Let me switch over the camera. All right, search you out. Um, I'm at the, I'm right behind the mower, which is underneath some stuff that I threw down there. Um, kind of cool though. DeWalt planer looks like it's in really good shape. That that'll pay for half the unit right by itself. I'll throw that up as soon as I can. Um, and then uh, DeWalt sander. And I need to move some stuff out to get to this, but you saw that bad boy. It's a 2000 Honda 250R and it is motocrossed out. Now, now for the big win, and I had to take a minute to catch my breath before I made this video because of this. Because if you look down here, oh, look, there's another wheel and another wheel. So three possible, possibly three, but definitely two motorcycles. But this was advertised as a 10 by 10. This and being a 10 by 10. And I bought a truck, rented a truck that was big enough to haul a 10 by 10. But what I ran into is that this is a 10 by 20. And it is jam packed. Since we have the video here, let's open up the hatch and see if there's anything fun inside. Food and a drill. Some lights, soaps. Um, all right, well, Jeremy Hill, if I find any food, oh, you know what I did find for Jeremy? See if I can get to it here. Jeremy Hill's big shout out to what the hills. There you go, there's your gold. Charmin two, or sorry, yeah, Charmin super soft two ply. But it looks like the rats already got to it. All right, I wanna get back to it. Still working on it, I'm getting there, but here, take a look at this. I just uh, opened up this box. Stay my gloves off because I know it's safe. Look at that. We got a very kind of Harman, uh, Rockford sub. We got an Eclipse amplifier. Not terribly awesome looking, but it's there. And let's see, Alpine. We got an Alpine CDA. It doesn't matter how old these are. Some folks want era pieces. 
for their uh, restoration projects. So, all right, you guys have been patient. Let's do one unboxing here. Saw the Mary Kay bags, so that's probably just cosmetics. That's an empty box. I just see a little wooden box back down there. I haven't opened that yet. Yeah, you can see it's just cosmetics. Soft pastels, a little art bag. Daughter might like some stuff out of there. Gotta check for needles first. Oh, glass case. These are always fun. If you can find some old vintage glasses, they sell for pretty decent. Nada. Okay, what do we got here? It's a pouch, and I can't really tell what's inside. I'm not going to open it here. All right, let's see what we've got here. It does look like a chest of sorts. Old Water Creek. Nothing there. Oh, we got some art stuff. Okay. Something, new, something else from my daughter. She loves her art. Just replace that handle. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. Missing a couple pieces, but she'll love everything that's there. Here you go. That's the toolbox that was in here. It is a Craftsman Professional. So, I haven't opened it yet. Let's see what's inside. Good, nice and lightweight. Nice little lift up handles. Good, I don't any weight in here. Yeah. Probably add these tools to my collection. And sell the box. French. Guess I should check to see if it's in there, huh? It's in here. Look at that bad boy. That's worth some money. There we go. And the top one. Whoa! All the wheels are on it. It just kind of tipped towards me because it was off the edge. So yeah, that's actually uh, not bad. Not bad at all, man. Calm down now. <laughs> Alright, so if you saw that DeWalt earlier, here it is. I finally got this one opened up. Slowly working my way back, and now I just realized there's a massive freaking bookshelf right there. <laughs> oh, what a day. Okay, so there's a bookshelf there, there's a sofa there, there's another chair there. See the chair, the sofa. And all this wood and stuff all the way to the ceiling. So if you're looking at this when I first looked at the locker and I was making my bids and I couldn't see anything and you thought I was crazy for bidding $500 on this. You think I'm doing okay? Alright, bike number one is freed up. The rest are pretty close as well. Get these on the truck. So it has been almost a week since I started unloading that 10 by 20 that was advertised as a 10 by 10. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick heads up. So when you're going through a locker, you're going to be facing a lot of garbage. You have to deal with garbage no matter what. Uh, so in this one, now I should start out by telling you that I wouldn't normally do this, but because it was a 10 by 20 and not a 10 by 10, because I rented a, a 16 foot truck expecting a 10 by 10, I had to uh, make two trips, and after filling the truck up a second time, I uh, still had a ton of stuff in the locker. We had sorted already, my daughter and I, uh, and we had a, uh, a lot of garbage left over. We had a lot of donation stuff left over, and we had a full truck of good stuff to bring home. So I had a $100 deposit on it, truck cost me $150 for the second day. It was going to cost me another $150 to rent it for a third day in gas and miles and truck rental fees. Um, and I really didn't want to go through that. So when you add in that $150 to the dump fees of everything that was left in the locker, which is at least $60, that's $210. You're looking at a savings of $110 just to forfeit the deposit. I don't recommend that and I wouldn't normally do it, but in this case, we did it. Uh, if they'd advertised as a 10 by 20 and I'd won, I'd gotten a 26 foot truck and not worried about it. But as it was, uh, we had to make two trips already and a third trip was just gonna be too expensive. So there we are. We've got a total of about $1,100 into this locker, 510 for the locker, then there's taxes, 
There's a 10% commission to storage treasures, or sorry, 15% commission to storage treasures.com. Uh, there was the $100 deposit that we forfeited and the truck rental, gas, and miles all added up. $1,100 total bought and sold were into it. That doesn't include my time uh, or my daughter's time, who's been working on this as much as I have. So I wanted to point this out, though, garbage. So I left a ton of stuff. I left, I left my deposit, and they took, a, well, a 10 by 20 were full of garbage. <laughs> Um, but I still brought a lot of garbage home that I had to sort through. And this is a reality of, of going through storage units. You're going to have to make dump runs. Uh, if you don't have a dumpster at your site, you're going to have to take stuff to the dump. For me, that means another truck rental in this case. Uh, again, I don't have a truck or trailer, so I'm going to have to rent a truck, go to the dump uh, after filling it up with all of this stuff. As you can see... This is all the garbage after sorting and a lot of recycling on this side. Top back up so you can hopefully see all of that. There you go. But let me show you some of the good stuff. Oh, there's my finger. That was professional. All right, so I'm going to show you, show you some of the good stuff. So right off the bat, you knew I got three motorcycles. So, and I'm sure you're dying to know what kind of motorcycles they were. The first one is the most complete, and I did find a title for this. That doesn't make it easy. Uh, it makes it easier, but it doesn't make it totally easy. So, the first one is the CB250R. It's complete. I'm going to do a little tune-up on it and see if I can get it running. And then, that's a 2000, by the way. Then I found a 2001 uh, GSX 750R that had been laid down and almost all the plastics were destroyed and the tank is dented. But, this is a $5,000 bike, so it may totally be worth going through and redoing this bike. There we go. Show it to you. It's complete, it looks pretty clean. Not well complete minus the plastics and everything that broke off of it. But it's the frame's really solid and straight, which is fun. That might become a project. Uh, I can get a whole new plastic set and tank cover for about $700. And then I need a muffler and a few odds and ends, obviously keys. I did do a title of InSearch on it and it is free and clear. So, then the third one, which is just something that I think I'm going to actually make a project and give to my brother who just moved out to the coast. A 1991 Honda CR125R, and that's the engine on the ground there. There we go. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Look at this. 
So, big reveal in three, two, one. Oh, bummer. I have no idea. Methadone. Okay, so now we know for sure that this is a methamphetamine unit.